Brick Maniacs, here we are at the designer's desk of Dan Siskind uh, with an all new, well, reissue, but in smaller scale. Yeah, it's actually more of a homage. Yes. Not, not even a not even a reissue, not even anything. It's just it's it's the Bricksmith shop is a homage to the original blacksmith shop. Yep. So let's just pull this here. So this is a Lego set, uh, 37, 39. Some of you may know that I designed this thing years and years ago. It was based on my original first Brick Mania set. Lego licensed it. This is came out in 2002. Um, the original set came out at the end of 1999 is when I was working on it. So it's basically for the 20th anniversary, we put out this little homage uh, the to the, the Brits, the Bricksmith shop Smaller. in homage to the Blacksmith shop. So. Um, Let's get this there's a Lego here. set. You, people are probably familiar with the with the actual Lego version. Um, the, is this your version or is this? This is the original. Okay. So this is the one. Let you you've all seen the original Lego version. Um, I, I I presume most people have seen that. Um, this is the original. So this is actually how it came when I released it. Um, no differences f from when my release. You know, if you if you look at the old Brick Mania 001, this is it. Um, this is Brick actually Mania's first official set, right? It is the first it, official. It, it, the it, first it. one that actually went into mass production and sold more than one. <laughs> so it's, it's technically our second, my second set, but we won't talk about that first one. Oh. So, as back in the day, Brick Mania started making castle sets. Uh, there was there was a hole in Lego's theme. They did not do castle theme. So I took it upon myself to make some sets. I actually had a bunch of parts. I was buying stuff on clearance and. Like, what can I make? What can I make? And I came up with a whole series of castle themed sets. Um, they're all actually town villages. There wasn't any like castles, uh, so to speak. I was like, let's do stuff that Lego's never done, like uh, inns, churches. I mean, stuff Lego kind of touched on, but just in hints. And I was like, let's, let's just do this because there's so much more than a wall and castles and sieges and stuff. This, so this is a blacksmith shop. Um, inside, it does open up and you have the forge. Um, the blacksmith himself, he's, right. he's, he's here. And, and traditionally with Lego sets, they had never really done a complete building, if, if I'm not mistaken. Um, generally Normally they didn't. Right. They would do something. So if you look closely back in the 80s, go all the way back to the early 1980s, they did make some sets in the towns that, that do resemble this. In fact, I think it's one called Townhouse that actually opens up in a very similar way. Okay. So this, this was actually based on the Lego when I was growing up as a kid. So in the early 80s, they had a couple things. Some of the castle sets did open up. Um, usually they weren't complete buildings, though, you're right. They were, right. They were just, they'd give you the hint that there was uh, more to it and let you build your own um, to, to complete, this, complete the so illusion. So it's, 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 it's kind of a cool evolution process. It, um, nowadays we have these uh, collector series, um, like towns, like full big buildings. This is almost like a precursor to that in a lot of ways. Right. Um, so this this is this, I receive it's you know it's a precursor to what the the a full community the adult fan community was doing is doing now. This is this is kind of like setting the standard, really raised the bar and gave people the idea. Yeah, we can make whole villages. We can do stuff. We don't have to follow whatever Lego's doing. We can we can we can make uh, sets that are complete uh, with you know opening opening doors, uh, complete building interiors and exteriors. Uh, I should point out there's are a few differences between this model. And the one that Lego released. So, for for one thing, the figures are different. I I used what I what I had available to see the the female the female figure is a I think it's some sort of a Sith Lord that's been <laughs> 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 so. This is right when the first Star Wars sets came out. In fact, your roof pieces here are courtesy of the Gungan sub. Um, you found a use for the Gungan sub, very nice. Yeah, you know what? And nobody else had a use for it, so I was able to pick them up cheap on clearance. <laughs> and ended up, I think it took like uh, four or five Gungan subs to make one of these, uh, <laughs> one blacksmith shop. Um, also to note, the on the, 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 the one that the, the Lego put out, they had less vines. They simplified the, the vines growing on it. They put in a second window, and what else is there? There's different. They also put in uh, they, round bricks. So believe it or not, Lego didn't even have their own pieces to what? make the set that I released. So um, I used these these octagonal bricks that came in, the, in one of the castles at the time. I had tons of them. I was like, I got to use this piece. I fell in love with it. In fact, it's on all of my sets for at the time period. But they they weren't producing that at the time when they released this. Right, two like years two years part. after the fact, when Lego got around to re-release releasing it themselves, they didn't have that piece anymore. They had to use two by two round bricks. 
So interesting. Um, they also there's a few things. They had a little bit of give and take with Lego. They wanted to make these windows in white. Uh, they wanted to go, you know, they they wanted to go with what was easy, what they had in production. And I, I sort of pushed back and, and was able to actually get these in red. Uh, I think it's the last time that classic castle window or classic town window right. was actually p produced in red. And it said they put a second window, which I was actually really grateful for because these were really hard to get at the time, and, and I was pushing, pushing, hey, can we get more, can we do more, we do more, and they did, they, they gave me a second window. You were telling me at one point to, to complete a run of, of some castles, you actually had to part out a few of your own Lego sets that you... <laughs> <laughs> no, well, when this came out, um, I, I bought a bunch, yeah. and I did actually, it was a great parts pack. <laughs> so, so, so you yeah. You set that you wanted as, as a... Uh, yeah, as and, and, and when Lego, Lego put it out, they, they put it for... 20% of the price of the original sold for. So, you know, as you know, Brick Mania sets aren't cheap because I have to buy the parts on the open market. Right. Then, then we go from there. Um, you know, it's going to cost more money. They were able to make it at a really good price. So if you remember, if you were back in the day buying these things, you'd know, hey, that's a great price. And, and you probably bought more than one. In fact, you're probably selling your, your copies on eBay now for 10 times what you paid for them, right? It's a pretty good investment. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So that's Lego's version. This, this now, you know, it goes for like 250 bucks on eBay easily. It's pretty cool. Um, they are around. They made they made about twenty thousand of them, probably more, uh, they, at least twenty thousand. So now you have you put together an homage to this. This is the Bricksmith. So this is anniversary Bricksmith shop. Yes, this, this is this is this is the twentieth anniversary, and I actually am going uh, to be in Germany talking about this at Bricking Bavaria in September. Mm -hmm. And like, I want to talk about the, the, the blacksmith shop. They asked me to come and do a presentation. So yeah, I'm going to do a presentation, but I wanted to get something I can put together that would be a representation. That's actually what the, where the idea that came out to put out this little, it's like mini scale version yeah. of, the, of the, the blacksmith shop. So Thank calling you. it the Bricksmith shop, um, because you know obviously there's a blacksmith shop. We need to have something to distinguish what it is. And it, the interior is just like the original, a little spinning wheel. Um, the forge, everything is in there. I just don't have any little tiny people to put in there, so you can find some trophy guys yourself or whatever. Is this about trophy scale then, you'd estimate? It's, yeah, it's about perfect for that. So this would, this would fit in line roughly with the micro brick battle game system as well? <laughs> it actually would. It's a little, it's a little <laughs> big, but... A little bit, but... It's a little big. It would work. So if you have our micro scale tanks, this would be right at home in that... Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a little <laughs> bit on the big side. Yeah. Um, you know, what would be actually be better is those little tiny game figures. Yeah. They're halfway between a, the trophy and the minifig scale. Right on. That will be about perfect for this. Um, so this, this, is, this is a limited edition set. There are a couple of cool things in here. I don't know if we can get that on camera, but there is a little custom printed tile. Let me just pop that out, actually. It is a texture print. You want to yeah, <laughs> show that off? So Slam put together some artwork for that. That's the uh, weapons rack, correct? So the original set had a little, there's a little art weapons rack inside of it. And yeah, it's got some texture printing on that as well. Yeah, it actually, the little weapons are, the little weapons are, are textured. shadow on that. There we go, yeah. yeah. So, and then also in the back of it, there is a printed brick. So you know that this is authentic because I know that there's uh, people out there and <laughs> who like to, to who like to make bootlegs of, of Brick Mania sets? So we put on some printed tiles, so you know it's authentic. Which it's kind of funny because we actually we made a hundred copies of this, and this is number one hundred and one. So they are serial numbered, and it's completely random. If you order on day one, you might get kit number ninety nine. You might get kit number one. Uh, if you order in the store, we're mixing them all up. We're not going to reward you for being early, but I have a feeling that they will end up selling out pretty quick. Yeah. So. I mean, it, it's we haven't released you haven't released anything quite like this. It's a throwback kit to a. Yeah, and you know, and, and different era of brick mania. And, and Legos put out those. Uh, they sort of they've done the mini versions of all their modular releases and figured all this, this in the same spirit. Let's put out a mini, mini version of the the, the, the blacksmith yeah, absolutely. shop. Absolutely. How'd you get that in there? Here, show me how that. Oh, it's just it's held on as one stud. Right it's in the one center stud of it. Or on the no, it's on the corner. So let's get that lined get up that straight. Right place, there, it's back in back in position. There actually is a little anvil in there in the forge. Everything. Nice. So just like the real one. So it does come in a clamshell. I like uh, the uh, kind of throwback packaging we have there. Right. So. We, we simulated it. It's not a copy. <laughs> it's, it's simulated uh, packaging. So there is this, oh, wait, this is the, uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce what that is in German. Schmiederwerkstatt? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and now we have our own version. What's that? The, uh, uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew you guys were up to something. <laughs> Ziegel Steinwerkstatt? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I, I'm, I'm assuming we haven't offended somebody in Germany with that. I hope not. But I guess you can tell me. <laughs> we usually offend, offend at least one person per if episode. someone's not mad, we're probably not doing something <laughs> right. right. I don't know. So, so this you cannot buy. 
right. um, unless you want to pay big bucks on eBay or other other aftermarket places. This one you can get. It's not going to be cheap. It's 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 actually quite an involved set. There's like a hundred pieces in this thing. Um, so. There's yeah, quite and a lot again, to it. this is you know it, it's a smaller model, and and this scale is always a little bit diff difficult for us because it's just. It's so few pieces, but we have to pay full, full like you know retail. Oh right, yeah. There's nothing we can do about the price, unfortunately. So, <laughs> so limited edition. Um, they are all numbered. Everyone is different. So, um, you know, if you want to get, make sure you get number one, then buy all hundred, right? <laughs> we send number one off to a store, and you don't get number one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, oh. but it's limited edition, um, and it's kind of unique. We don't usually put. You know things like autograph tiles or autograph bricks inside of each kit, or even serial numbers. I think the last time we did a serial number in a kit was the um, it's a boat USS North, yeah, USS North Carolina. That was like almost ten years ago. So, yeah, something like that. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So, so there you have it. All right. Uh, yeah, a nice the brick, little the bricksmith shop. A cool throwback. It's it's nice seeing these things just side by side. How cool is that? You got a small version too. Where'd that go? You? Where'd it go? Uh oh, where's the small guy go? There he is, right on the ship. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, oh, grab that tank, too. Tank? We have a tank? Oh, yeah. Look, <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Hey, perfect. <laughs> oh. and, but then, and then here's their mini version, <laughs> which, of course, also opens up just like the. <laughs> so these. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, back on track. This is the all-new Bricksmith Shop, designed by Dan Siskind, an awesome throwback kit to a, a really cool set. Uh, for more information, please check out BrickMania.com. You got the last word. Oh, well, hey, thanks for watching. <laughs> See you in Germany. <laughs>